guys welcome back to my channel today I'm excited for this video because first off this and I'm gonna start off by mine's my favorite foundation so far I have a few um, favorite drugstore foundations but by far my favorite one so far to this day you guys see it in all my makeup tutorials my bottle is almost empty and that is my L'Oreal true match Coco C8 foundation I don't know what it is about this foundation compared to the rest of them but I feel like I grab towards this one more because I feel like it complements my skin tone a lot more compared to the other ones because as you guys can see like the bottle it looks like this foundation is about two or three shades lighter than me but it's something about once I apply it to my face it kind of like blends in with my skin and it actually like balance everything out and just it looks like the perfect match so anywho if you guys want to see how I basically apply this foundation onto my face then keep on watching. applying any type of foundation I recommend to always use some type of moisturizer first and also don't forget to prime your face I tell you guys I kid you guys not it does make a difference with your foundations so for me today I'm going to be using my BH and Teen Shine primer and this basically prevents my foundation from shining um, around my oily area which is around my nose cheeks and my forehead so I'm going to simply apply this all over my face and I just put a little bit of the product on my fingers and then I just of course just put it in my little oily areas and just gently rub it in this next part is optional it just depends on what type of skin you got, but I got some bags underneath my eye that I've been trying to get rid of. So what I like to use is go with a concealer before applying my foundation. And I'm going to be going in with, I usually go, I take turns with these four. As you guys can see, it's a mess between them. So today, I think I'm going to go with this one. It's more of a red undertone to it. So I'm just going to simply take a little bit of that and put underneath my dark areas, which is my eyes around my mouth and a little bit of my chin now for the fun part the foundation I like to go with my L'Oreal True Match Coco C8 I feel like yes it looks like it's maybe like a two shades lighter than my skin tone but it's something about once you apply this foundation onto your face it blends very well so I do believe the definition of true match this foundation is my all-time favorite what I do is I just take a little bit of dabbing area because I feel like I don't need that much coverage and this a little goes a long way so I just simply do one side of my face first including the forehead and stuff like that and I want to show you guys the difference by doing one side so you guys can see everything. And the brush that I like to use is a nice fluffy brush like so. Some people use um, the flat brushes. It just depends on what you prefer, your foundation that you use and stuff like that. So this one is what I like to use. It works very well. And it's not even a name brand um, brush. I got this. I want to say like four years ago from Ross and it came like in a little brush set and it's just been working for me since so I do one more layer around my face area especially around the concealer area so I do one more layer of that I don't need it this is optional and I just go ahead and blend it So I want to see if you guys can tell besides this right here, the big difference in my face. It does make me not a shade lighter, but it makes my skin completely smooth. Like you can't see all the dark spots on my face and the bumps that I got like right here just chilling like what to do baby boo. But like it works marvelous. Like I love this. So this is what my face looked like once I completed both sides of my face guys I feel like a whole new woman <laughs> but basically this is everything that I do for my face um everything else I do is optional if I want to highlight if I want to contour stuff like that 
um, even if that, that I also like to do I do this sometimes this is optional but this is the NYX finishing powder and it is a white powder so you do have to be very careful on how much you put on your face because you won't be able to tell look you probably see all the powder just popping up but you won't be able to tell until you use a flash and you like wait why do I look all ashy looking and that's because of this so you just use very little so I'm just gonna tap just a little bit into okay that's too much I want to tap a little bit into the the cap and I take another different brush tap off the random little asses of it and then take it and just set it yes oh, honey yes Alright, so guys, it's basically what the end result will look like once you complete the rest of your face. So, of course, you guys can see I beat the hell out of this face, honey. So, if you guys want to see an actual tutorial on this look, it will be up sometime this week. Um, so, just keep an eye out on that. And um, hopefully, you guys will like it. Um, kind of stepped out of my comfort zone just a little bit. Because I felt like I did like a lot of like um, beating to the face. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. You guys leave me a comment down at the bottom. Let me know what is your favorite drugstore foundation. And if you guys want me to, you know, check out some more drugstore. Because I have a, a few different variety of drugstore foundations. So if you guys want to see my top five favorite foundations from, of course, drugstore related, just um, leave me a comment down at the bottom. Thumbs up this video. And I'll be sure to do that for you guys as well. But anywho, I'll see you guys in another one.